Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to dive into Power Pages and specifically how to retrieve option set or choice field, text and values using Liquid. We'll be focusing on how to get a contact uh, preference, um, which is an option set uh, from the logged in user. So let's get started. So here is my contact record, and this is the login I am going to use. In this record, I already have access to my power pages. The plan is to retrieve. There is a field here called preferred method of contact. So how can we access this option option set text and the value? So the text here is selected as form, and behind the scene, you know, it's a numerical value as well. Okay. So for that, what I did is I went to make.powerpages.microsoft.com, logged in using my authentication, then I'm editing my website. I added a new page, clicking by creating a new page. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the page settings and go to the permission and uh, select, I want to choose who can, this, who can see this page. So in my case is the logged on user, which is the, you know, the current user. So I'm going to say authenticated users. Okay. So only authenticated, authenticated users can see this page. Also, you notice that there is a log sign also. Okay. Right. So the next thing is I need to get the contact preferred method of contact. Okay. That's our plan. So to, to get that, what I'm going to do is, first thing is, I'm going to go to the Design Power Studio. And you can click on Edit Web Page. That's one way of doing it. The other way is, you know, to go to the Power Pages Management. Click on the Web Pages. You should be able to see the page we just created. In my case, it's called My Contact Page. Okay, that's My Contact. So if I open that web page, you can see here localized content. Here we go double click that and that will take you to the page then the html there so you can directly edit here or what you can do is you can go to the design studio studio and click edit code and that will open in visual studio code and that's the url it goes to i haven't installed locally so it goes to the web version of it as you can see the exact same code which i shown you earlier okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some liquid uh, code here. Okay. So the plan is the current logged on user, which is the user, that is that is the contact. Yeah. So there's a user object in uh, Power Pages. Uh, okay. So let's go back to the code. The first thing is I'm going to put curly brackets, percentage, percentage. Oops. Uh, then going to say assign contact equals user. Okay, that's the first thing. Then I'm going to check if, uh, you know, if the user object is there, if the user is logged in, you know. So that is this. It will it will be logged in because I set the property earlier as authenticated users, but it's good to check that if user, then uh, put an end if straight away. So again, so that's the syntax. That's the liquid syntax for that. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next thing is I want to get the label and the, the text and the value, yeah? So for that, uh, okay, another um, liquid uh, syntax, and I'm going to assign that, assign, I'm going to say here, uh, preferred underscore contact underscore method underscore what's the text is equal to user dot sorry contact dot I got it wrong here if you know what you don't need this um, contact equals you don't need that we can directly check if user that's easier. Okay. 
Okay, that's user dot. Uh, the field name is called preferred contact method. Yeah, so let's go back here and find the field name. I installed the level up. So if you click on the level up logical names, you can see that's a field name. It's called preferred. So let's copy that. And let me refresh that page again. Okay, coming back here, user dot that schema name, that's a field name, dot label. That's what we want. Now, for getting the actual numeric value behind the scene, all I need to change here is some appropriate name for that variable, which is called the value I want. And then here it's called dot value. That's done. Okay, now I'm going to put some HTML code. So I'm going to put a paragraph first. Uh, then inside that, I'm going to say my contact preference text. Okay, then this is a syntax we want. Uh, if you want to refer the variable name back here, you need to put two curly brackets. Uh, then that's a variable name we have it. There we go. That's that. And I'm going to put a br tag, then copy that again. And here I'm going to say value, and that's underscore value. I think we are pretty much done. So to save it, press Control S. So you can see it's saving back to the Power Platform tools. So my code is saved. Then going back here, you just need to click on sync. So that should appear whatever we, you know, entered there. So I'm expecting only the hard coded values you can see. I don't think it will evaluate on the, in the runtime here. These values, you won't be able to see it under the power pages. Let's see. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. And again, going back to here and refresh this page under the web pages, you can see, you know, it's been synced or not. Here we go, it's synced. See that, that's my custom code is there. So that's the reason I said you can directly edit here or go into, you know, Visual Studio Code to edit that. Okay, so the next task is quite simple. We're going to test this. So click on my preview, click on the preview, go to the desktop. That will directly take you to that page. And here we go, it says four and three then. Okay, let's change then. So I'm going to change this value to, uh, let's go back and change the font to something else. I'm going to set it to mail now and save it. Okay, now it's mail now. But if I refresh now, I don't expect to see the same value immediately because these pages are cached. And um, I will put another video about how it to, you know, instantly get that value. There is a way to clear the cache. Um, that's another video. So for this, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the Power Administrative Center. This is my uh, the portal instance and select Purge Cache. So that's going to clear my cache now. So once I purge my cache, I can go back here and refresh. I, sp I should be able to expect email and the relevant value here. Here we go, that's main and number five, okay? So that's what we need to do. We need to get the user object, that's the current logged on user object. So using this, you can access all the contact fields here, okay? So say for example, if you're using a, relate, um, a relational field, like a many to one or one to many, and again, you need to set user dot, then, you know, that relationship dot, uh, the field name, okay? Make sure uh, you know under the under the under the page you need to give the right permissions. Uh, so and also the table permissions you need to give it. So under the table permissions, I have here contact. Here, here it is. You know. So if you, if you have another contact like an account and the account and contact got a relationship, then you need to specify that in that format. Contact dot whatever the relationship name, which is one to many or many to one whatever it is. That relationship name dot then the field name. If it's an option set, use dot label and dot value. Okay, uh, that's what we need to do. So um, this method is really useful when you need to personalize your portal by showing a uh, logged in users uh, preferences or any other values coming from the contact field. 
by dynamically pulling both the label and value from the choice field, which I just demonstrated. This way you can ensure the user sees accurate and up updated information in the forms, fields, or on the page. You can also use this method when you want to display the user's current contact preference in a drop-down menu, making it easy for them to update it. Okay, so there are ways to you know extend this. Um, and there you have it. That's how you can retrieve option set values and labels in Power Pages using Liquid. I've, if you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe more, more tips and tricks like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.